video, I'll show you how to add a handwritten signature to your email signature. Like in the old days of snail mail, this is a great way to make your emails feel warm and personal. It took me just about one minute to make this beautiful signature. As you can see, the sign off makes the signature feel more friendly and relaxed. Hi, I'm Danielle from YSAM, and this video is part of YSAM's feature close up series where we take a closer look at some of our email signature generator's most popular features. Today we're taking a look at the handwritten signature sign-off app. I think this is a really elegant way to let your recipients feel like you gave them some extra attention. It's super easy to set up, so let's dive in. As you can see, I've already made my signature, so I can go straight to the apps tab. This tab is full of useful apps you can add to your email signature. Click here to open Styled Sign-Off app. You have three sign-off styles you can choose from. A type and cursive sign-off, just a sign-off, or a custom sign-off with your own handwritten signature. In the first two options, you have a drop-down with the most common sign-offs to select from. At the bottom, you can also choose custom text to compose an original sign-off. This text box is where you type in the cursive sign-off. Below you can set the size of the sign-off. This animates your signature, which I really like, but this option is only currently open to paid subscribers. In the custom option, you have two ways of adding your personal hand signature. You can either draw it in the draw pad, or if you already have a digital copy of your hand signature on your computer, you can upload that. If you choose to draw your signature using the draw pad, you can select the color of the signature from our color palette. If you choose to upload a signature, first make sure that it has a transparent background. It also needs to be high quality and thick enough to show clearly in your email signature. You can see the results right here in the right panel and decide for yourself if it looks good. When I'm done making my sign off, I'll click add. And then all that's left is to click the green button to update my beautiful new email signature in my email. Did you try making your sign off? If not, click the link I added in this card and try it out. I'll wait. What do you think? Is it doing a good job? Would you like it to do better? Tell me in the comments sections down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel. Enjoy your new signature. See y'all next time.